Well, as Roger Weston, as you may have heard, shots have been fired at uh, Donald Trump when he was out golfing. So my question is, <clears throat> this best as we know, I haven't heard that there was a hit, um, that this is just breaking news and I, I don't have all the details and I just want to respond to it, um, that I, I, I hope he's safe. Uh, if he is safe, what happened? What happened did, now, what I want to talk about what my what uh, Chuck Brandt, my action hero, would do to protect the tr the Trump, which obviously would have been far far better than what we saw in the last attempt. In this case, we have in this case we have apparently shots fired at a golf course. So my question is, what happened? What did the Secret Service do? Did they sur did they you know surround him and cover him and take him to the ground? Great. If what else did they do? Is that all they did? Because what what needs to happen is you need to go after the you need to go towards the gunfire you need to go after the shooters, and you need to take them down. And ideally, you don't want to kill them, because you want to find out who they're working for. Who are these people? Who are the, who's hiring these 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 killers? Are they are they Democrats or are they someone uh, supporting Democrats like let's say the Iranians or the Chinese? Somebody who essentially same, shares the same goal of getting rid of Trump. But you can't take care of the problem unless you know what the problem is, and so you want to. You don't. You don't just automatically want to kill the assassin. You want to. You want to uh, take him down and interrogate him. That's my thoughts about. Uh, you have to go after the. You have to hunt down the source like a dog and take him down and hopefully not kill him, but get information. That's my thoughts about what needs to happen. And God bless President Trump. Keep him in your prayers. Thank you.